So, I've been asked to do a short review on the Grand Virus from uh, Pyrian. Um, we can start with the outside, just looking at the finish. It has a very high gloss finish. The rosin wood is uh, more reddish than their previous run of from from the previous set of speakers. You can kind of see it there. It's more into the brownish, even though it is the the rosewood. And this is more red, but it has very deep, shiny finish to it, and it's. Um, pleasing to look at. As you can see it curves in so when you got sound reflections they, you can't have a standing wave. Well technically you can because the back side is still flat so you could have a wave going back and forth but this kind of designs um, minimize it. You've got a front grille it is metal and it's held in place with magnets Aside for a moment and I'll move back so you can see all of the individual speakers so you got starting at the bottom you got two woofers two mid-tone and then you got the new well newish um, tweeter which is vertically stabilized I don't know if that's good or bad but they sound really good um, the whole front is not up to the same standards as the rest of the cabinet um, you can see up here in the corner it has started to bulge out a little bit um, I think when they assemble it it's this piece simply drops into the back of the speaker it is supposed to be a composite weave on all the speakers except for the tweeter. It comes and needs to stand on spikes. Without them, it's not that good balance. The spikes um, come with these little plates that you can move out and in. And um, under those, there's a little rubber a sole on them but in my experience is that when you move the speaker just ever so slightly that rubber sole won't stay adhered to the metal disc so it's the, it, the sole simply slides off and um, I've simply taken them off all the speakers because it was doing it over and over again and you just have to look at the speaker wrong and it, the little disc there will fall off My floor is not perfectly flat, so I just moved the speakers around and I can see this one hasn't fully seated it right, but I will at some point. This metal brace here can't be removed, the same goes for the back one. The speaker will not, um, it gets wobbly if you remove it. It's a fairly tall speaker, so if you got little kids around and such, you gotta make sure that they're not gonna knock them over. Um, I had have the um, 633 from appearing as well, and they're more stable um, speaker. Um, on the back, turn it around. You got two base ports um, firing backwards. It is set up for bi wiring, and you have. Let's see if I can unhook this banana. I really like these banana plugs. They, when once they're in there, they are very tight and provide a very nice um, connection. So I'm just gonna screw off these terminals. Show you that. 
That is what bridges that when you're not by wiring it. I used to run on by wire, but I recently moved my amp. So I am waiting to receive um, four sets. Actually, it's going to be six sets of Blue Jeans pre terminated cables. I can't wait to see how they sound. Right now, I'm running a 12 gauge average wire gauge. Um, I am not sure who makes this cable. I'm not sure if it's pure copper or if it's copper coated aluminum. But um, it works. It's, it's thick and until I get my new cables, it'll do just fine. Uh, my biggest gripe with this speaker is well, on my particular one, um, there's that little fault in the wood. It looks like it's been filled out, and the same is up here. And there's some less notable ones. The finish is, is, is perfect, it's just it looks like they tried to fix something in here. It could just be tree sap and just naturally how the finish looks. Now, since this is a YouTube video, I am not going to play any music for you because it's going to sound crappy um, from the YouTube compression and depending on which speakers you got hooked up to your computer, it's not going to show anything um, valuable. It plays very nice um, compared to my 633s, there's more mid tone in them. Um, and the tweeter is a tiny bit better than the 633, which I, I really like those speakers too. And um, those were moved into the play den. Um, what is this there to say? That is it for the tower speaker. I got the center as well. And they carry on the design of the curved um, cabinet on them. The center cannot be bi-wired and you have a switch for near wall or on a stand. Um, I would just try and, and flick it over, have a buddy flick it over while you listen to it and, and see if you can and find the, um, the setting that you like the best. Um, this you see there it's a little rubber foot it's not attached in any way it's a nice rubber foot and with that you can move the speaker up if if it's sitting on the floor and you can move it down you pretty much have full control on which way the speaker points even though it's a curved cabinet but you have to use those feet or get a, a dedicated stand for it So no by wiring on, on the center and you can by wire the towers. I really like the sound of these speakers. They are very clear. I don't like the grill. It seems like the, um, the fabric has a tendency to come a little bit loose and they're hard to to pull off not that you're going to pull off every day but every time you push a nail in there to pull it out it seems like you're going to scratch something more or break something Let's see if i can get a better shot of individual units I think that's about as good as it gets. Now all the specs, you can find those on the Appearing website. So I'm not going to recite them and possibly tell you something wrong. But um, around the units here, there's a rubber gasket. There's, it, it feels 
soft inside or it, it's it's quite hard but it seems like there's air behind it see if the tweeter does the same now yeah the woofers are um, able to actually play down pretty low in the frequencies um, even more so than the 633s I believe so you could definitely use these speakers without a, a sub um, and it will go down fairly low but otherwise I don't really know what else there is to say if you look on the top of the speaker it's also curved again it's a resonance thing they're not curved on the bottom so the only place you, you have where the you can get standing waves is on the back I don't know if they got a curve inside the cabinet um, I haven't taken it apart and from the looks of it um, I don't really think you can take the speaker apart it looks like once it's glued and everything is in place that's it maybe you can get um, maybe there's a special tool you can get in and, and you can unglue it um, and there's no way you can get in from the back side the cabinet looks like it's solid all the way around so should you blow the speaker um, you pretty much have to send it in and have it repaired by appearing it's not something you can go out and buy a new say a new tweeter and, and get it replaced Maybe this rubber gasket comes off and, and there's something underneath. I can't tell. Just trying to feel my way around here. This gasket could be hiding something. It feels a little harder here at the one, two o'clock position. And then it goes soft again until we're down to a three o'clock position. But then again, you wouldn't buy a speaker like this to play super loud all day long. This is, is more of a speaker that is meant for music at normal levels. They can play loud, don't get me wrong, but this is not the kind of speakers. If you want something that will play very loud for a long time, get some JBLs. They will play very loud they won't be very accurate though in their reproduction of the music um, these guys well now you can see that little scratch it was actually like that when I got it um, and I talked to Aperion and they gave me a small discount on the speakers my center speaker also had a little ding um, that finish on on the trim around the grill is, is kind of flaky so it's nothing that will harm the music quality but that's annoying when you spend that much money on a pair of speakers that that they break and flake like that so just leave the grill on and then jar them as they are and that's it for this video